Hiya, so we've got another one now, so second example. And do you know, these are all much of a muchness, like I said, and I really like these. So we've got a mass of three kilograms lies on a smooth plane at an incline of 45 to the parallel, to the horizontal. One end of a light, inextensible string is attached to the mass, and the string passes up the line of greatest slope, so that means it's parallel to it, over a smooth pulley fixed at the top of the plane and has a freely suspended mass of one kilo at the other end. Right, should we draw a picture? So here's our picture. So we said it's 45 degrees. We've got a mass which weighs three kilos, so 3G. I've got a smooth pulley with a line going over it and a line going down. So I've got 1G. Just put a G there, hands up. Right, now then, one string, one tension. T, T. If you remember when we did this last year in the pack, we had some questions where they were working out the tension actually on the pulley. So if you imagine like chucking a scarf down on somebody's neck and then kind of pulling them towards you, that's kind of that's what it was doing. But this isn't asking for that. Right now then, what's our assumption? Do we think that the free G is gonna take control of the one G and it's gonna pull the three G that way? So there is no acceleration there, is it? So the 1g mass is going to go up there. So if you remember, so it's smooth as well. So these have been smooth, haven't they? So there's no um, friction with these. So if you remember, we set up two equations and solve them simultaneously uh, for the tension and the acceleration there. Right, so the first bit says, one that we, we didn't do in the last one, is the normal reaction. The R on there, because I, I guess I should have done really is stuck some R's in here, shouldn't I? There. Right, so for the normal reaction, so for the normal reaction, I'm going to go perpendicular for F equals M A. So this is for the three kilo mass. Just do a quick 3G. That's 45, isn't it? Oops. Can you read that? 3G cos 45, 3G sine 45. So I want the forces, which are. Now, this, because it's um, the normal one, perpendicular, so I'm looking perpendicular, it's in equilibrium because it's not lifting off the slope and it's not burying through the slope. So up minus down is equal to zero. Its acceleration is in the parallel to the slope, not the perpendicular. So up would be r, and down would be the 3g cos 45. So my r value is 3g cos 45, which to three sig fig, because g is 9.81, R is 20.8, oops, 20.8 newtons to front six feet. There we go. So we'd want to do that if we were working out the friction, if it wasn't smooth. Oh, it is smooth, so there's no real reason for working out R. Right, so set up my two equations for part two and part three. So let's have a look uh, perpendicular, not perpendicular, uh, parallel. So parallel to the slope for the 3kg. Right, so what have we got? So forces travelling down the slope. So I'll be doing forces travelling parallel minus forces opposing is mass times acceleration. So forces going down the slope is just the 3g sine 45. There's no other force on it, is it? So 3g sine 45. Forces opposing it. So if you look in the direction opposite to the direction of travel, the only force opposing that 3g is tension. And that's lot, equal to three lots of acceleration. So if I will slightly rewrite it, put the T over on one side, I've got T plus 3A is equal to 3 times 9.81 times sine 45, which we can do when we put in our calculator straight away. Right, so now let's have a look uh, at the 1 kg mass. So that's freely suspended. So let's have a look. So the force in the direction of travel. So I'm going to do F equals MA. 
is tension, the force opposing it is G, and that's equal to a mass of 1, N. So if I do a little rearrange, get it in the same format, I've got T, minus O is equal to G, which is 9.81. If I put that into uh, symbol, so 1, 3, and then whatever that mess is, and then 1 minus 1, 9.8, it gives me the tension as, what does it say? Well, they've got 12.6 newtons to so 3 sig fig. And then it gives you the acceleration as 2.75 meters per second to so 3 sig fig. There we go. And we've solved it simultaneously because it's lovely. There. Right. That's, uh, we've, got, we've got another bit, haven't we? So the distance that each particle travels for the first two units. The first two. So they're set up as SUVAP. They're both moving together, so they both move the same distance. So S is what I want, U is zero, V not fussed about, A is 2.75, T is the first two seconds. So I want an equation that doesn't have V in it. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So S is zero lots of two. Plus a half times 2.75 times 2 squared. So S is, they got 5.5 meters. But that's to 2 sig fig. And really, it should be 3 sig fig. I've not got my calculator in, but is that going to be dead? I think that should be 5.50 meters if it's 3 sig fig. Right, I think that's done. There's no question for you. There must be a question for you here, so I'm not sure. Now, nah, another example. Right, I'll stop the.